Hi, I'm Jason Heisen, Senior Installation Specialist with Mannington, and I'm here today to show you two of our great products. We have Adora Max, also Adora Flex. Both of these products look the same, they install differently, and there's great attributes to both of them. The Adora Max product is an 8 millimeter attached pad click floating product with a 20 mil wear layer. The Adora Flex, as you can see, it's a little more flexible. This is a glue down product, 2.5 millimeter. It's glued directly to the substrate. Also has a 20 mil wear layer. Fantastic product as well. First thing we're going to dive into is the installation of the Adora Max product. So as I mentioned, Adora Max is a click floating product. It has a profiled locking edge around all four sides. Let's go back and talk about acclimation and, and job site conditions. Acclimation is best work practice for sure, but it's not necessarily needed for this product unless we're, unless we're transferring from one extreme environment into another with a 15 to 20 degree difference. Um, if we're taking from one like um, environment into another, acclimation is not required. Uh, subfloor prep will be minimized by this product because it's not going to be in direct contact with the substrate. It's going to be floating. It will not eliminate floor prep, but it will minimize it. This product can be installed over painted subfloors, maybe an existing ceramic tile floor. Um, it, it, it doesn't require, it doesn't always require a quarter inch underlayment. Um, as far as installing this product, really simple process um, and it really requires very few tools. You're going to need your normal hand tools, tape measure, pencil, chalk line, um, some type of spacing wedges because it is a floating product it will require a quarter inch expansion gap all right, around all walls, any fixed vertical surface. Other tools are a hammer, a good utility knife, and then we have the Mannington Universal Tapping Block, which is key for installation of a door max. Once we, have, once we have the product laid out, it's in the home, we have a nice starting, uh, starting location. For this instance, we're going to start along this, this open area here. This product can be, uh, like I mentioned, you can score and snap it. We can do a half a stagger, so a half a tile, full tile, and we'll alternate that with each row. Staggering these by a minimum of six inches will give us, will give us the uh, stability that we need once this floor is all clicked together. It is an angle-angle product. It installs easier when you insert the tongue side into the groove side. Okay, The groove is actually sticks out a little bit further on two sides. And the tongue is just that small little gray bump that's around the edge. So we have the, in this case, we have the groove facing us. I'm going to lock the first piece in. This is an angle-angle installation and locking system. All that means is the first angle is the head seam going in here. We're going to lay it down, pick it up just a little bit. and you might have been able to hear it snap into place. Just to ensure that we're locked in all the way, we can give it a tap with the tapping block. It's important to know what type of locking system you're working with um, because different products are going to install differently. So again, this is an angle angle. First angle. Lift it about the width of your fingers no higher than that, and from there it should slide right into place. It's a very tight locking system. Once it's engaged, it's waterproof from topical spills. That snapped right in. If you happen to, if you happen to get in some areas where the product won't slide and isn't locking together very easily. Because keep in mention, because it's, because it's an angle angle, we have to get it to slide along this head seam right here. So if it's not sliding and it's kind of fighting us a little bit, 
we can simply slide the tapping block under it. The tapping block has a little ledge on it that's going to put us at the proper angle. And now from there we can just tap it, tap it right into place. We can even leave the tapping block under it, slide it down. Tap the next one in. That process will continue across the floor throughout the job until everything's completed, cutting around any obstacles, and then you'll have a nice finished installation. These tiles are, there's different patterns in these tiles and in the boxes, so it's very important to mix them up, to blend them, work out of several different cartons at a time. Bankton creates anywhere between eight to 12 different visuals, but that visual will slide and move on the tile. So, you know, for an example, if there's a distinctive knot in the upper right hand corner, it won't always be in that upper right hand corner, maybe in the lower left hand corner of another plank or tile. That allows more variation. Still important for the installer to pay attention to it and mix up his tiles and patterns as he, as he goes along. Care and maintenance for this product after installation is fairly simple. We're going to just sweep it when, when you need to. Um, if there is a spill, you can use uh, ammonia and water, quarter cup of ammonia per gallon of warm water. The Swifter mops along with uh, microfiber are also great tools to take care of this floor. But essentially, it, it, it's topically waterproof so you don't have to worry about spills getting through the floor to the substrate. Um, we still want to clean them up in a timely fashion, but that's not a worry. Um, it's got a scratch resist aluminum oxide wear layer, so it is, it is very durable and easy to take care of. And remember, your consumers are going to love this because it is pet friendly. A handy little tip and trick for doing this is we can take another plank and, and line up the edge of it right on the groove side edge make sure that we're nice and square there. And now we can simply use utility knife and this groove side as a straight edge. It's a little score and from there we're able to just snap that right in half. Now we have a half plank to start our second row with.